We're getting you inside and a new look at the Ottawa shooting. Canada, Canadian police released surveillance footage of the lone gunman. And while it's still early in the investigation, authorities are trying to figure out the suspect's motivation. It may have included a drug habit, Islamic radicalization, and a wish to join the fight in Syria. He is an interesting individual in the sense that he had a very developed criminality. In other words, a non-security, uh, national security related criminality of violence and of drugs and of uh, mental uh, 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 instability. Combined with some of the things that gave rise to the radicalization, I think is uh, where the focus of our investigation needs to be so that we can come to a fuller understanding. But you must realize there is no sort of one path or one formula to a radicalization. During that news conference, authorities also released surveillance video. It captures a suspect driving from the National War Memorial to Parliament brandishing a weapon. He carjacks an MP's car to get closer to Parliament with police in pursuit. There is a shootout at the entrance and again inside where it's believed that the sergeant at arms shoots the suspect dead. CCTV's Christian Yo has more on the fallout from these attacks in Ottawa. This was his moment. Sergeant of Arms Kevin Vickers was lauded a hero in Ottawa. His ceremonial role as protector of Parliament called on him to act at a moment's notice amid chaos in the heart of the Canadian capital. Prime Minister Stephen Harper honoured the two soldiers who died this week and the responders who risked their lives to keep Parliament and the public safe. He was joined at the Canadian War Memorial by dignitaries and members of the public, laying flowers at the fateful spot where Wednesday's terror first unfolded, a tribute to Corporal Nathan Cirillo, the guard who was fatally shot by Michael Zihav Bibo, and to Patrice Vincent, the serviceman mowed down in Quebec by another radicalised Canadian on Monday. Two attacks on home soil in three days marks an unprecedented escalation in terror for Canada. Canada's intelligence agency has been calling for more authority to monitor homegrown radicals. Recent events are likely to make it easier in Parliament for lawmakers to broaden spying powers. In recent weeks, I have been saying that our laws and police powers need to be strengthened in the area of surveillance, detention and arrest. They need to be much strengthened. And I assure you, Mr. Speaker, that work, which is already underway, will be expedited. Police say Bibao was in Ottawa to apply for a passport. It's thought he wanted to travel to Syria. We have information that he may have had dual Libyan-Canadian citizenship. According to some accounts, he was an individual who may have held extremist beliefs. New footage of his rampage has emerged showing him shoot Cirillo from behind. Like the rest of the country, Cirillo had no idea what was coming. The security perimeter around Parliament remains in place and it's unlikely to ever be relaxed to the level seen before Wednesday's shooting. Canada's attitude to terror, both at home and abroad, has turned an historic corner. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Ottawa.